everyone welcome back to my channel if you guys are new welcome to the family my name is Dina today's video was actually inspired by my life I don't know about you guys but I've been very stressed lately it's kind of been a combination of work stress and just the stress of the world long story short I get nightmares and sleep paralysis when I'm very stressed out and for about two weeks straight I was getting nothing but nightmares. I'd wake up, you know, panicked early in the morning because I'd have such horrific, violent dreams. I do take care of myself. I try to have a really solid self-care practice and despite doing meditation and trying to, you know, put my energy into something positive, I still was being left with horrific nightmares every night. So then I thought to myself, Dina, you're a witch. Why don't you use magic? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I think sometimes when I just get so bogged down and depleted, for some reason magic is the last thing I think of because it does require some energy. But I'm like, you know what? Just do a simple spell. You have the tools. Let's figure this out. So I did. So I created this dream bag specifically created to banish nightmares and the very first night I had a beautiful restful sleep I had no nightmares it continued to work consistently every single day so there's always some prep work when you do a spell I always make sure I cleanse my space you can do this however you want you can use sound like me you can use smoke clearing you can use cleansing spray I actually cleansed my crystals that I used in this spell so I did make sure I let them sit in some salt but there's some other ways that you can cleanse your crystals as well I also like candles to set the mood I often like to do this during a spell this is optional you don't have to do this and you want to make sure you're in the right mindset when doing a spell whether this is meditating or taking a few deep breaths it's your choice make sure you ground yourself first all right so let's get into the materials so obviously this is a dream bag so you're gonna need some sort of little baggie sachet whatever you want you're also gonna need some twine now the bag does have a little drawstring but because I'm putting it underneath my pillow at night I just want to make sure it's not going to open up or anything Next, you're going to need your crystals of your choice. This is 100% personal, and if you read any crystal book, you'll know that many crystals have very similar properties. So don't feel like you have to use the same crystals that I'm using in this spell, but if you're curious what I used, I use amethyst and moonstone. Moonstone, for me, I feel like that just represents, you know, cycles, embracing different cycles and helping you really cope with the ebbs and the flows and the highs and the lows of life. I also chose amethyst because amethyst is just one of those stones that is known to help with sleeping. It's really good for peaceful rest. Next, let's talk about the herbs. I chose lavender because lavender is really relaxing. It's really good for peace and it's a really calming smell as well. So it's a really good ingredient to use for anything that is related to stress, honestly. I also included some thyme because thyme is also just one of those herbs that are known for, you know, keeping away the nightmares. The smell is also, I find, very calming to me. I feel like the combination of the lavender and thyme is just beautiful, honestly. The next ingredient I use is salt. This is super easy. Everyone has salt in their house, at least most people do. Salt is just really good for protection. The next ingredient I include are bay leaves. Again, I just feel like this is another really good protective, empowering ingredient that I wanted to use. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pen, and a pair of scissors. All right, so step one, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper and your pen and you're going to start to write down your intention for this spell. Now, I'll show you what I wrote, but basically this is what you want the spell to do, but you want to put feeling into it. You want to really put your intention into it because this is your personal touch. So you can write what I wrote, but I recommend writing whatever comes from your heart, whatever you truly, truly feel. Next, you're going to add the herbs, and as I add each herb, again, I am really infusing that intention, guys. Often I say it out loud to myself, this herb will do this, this herb's going to bring me peace, this herb's going to bring me protection.
whatever you feel called to say. I make sure I speak that out loud, or if you can't speak it out loud, just say it in your head. That is okay too. Next, you want to add your crystals, but before you add them, you want to make sure you're infusing them with that intention. Tell your crystals what you want them to do. What is their job? So this is when I do my final meditation and I really infuse my energy and my intention into this spell bag. This spell has absolutely helped me so much. So I thought I'd share because I know there must be other people that suffer from nightmares. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this spell helps you the way it has helped me. If you guys like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really, really makes a difference and I truly appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment below. I love talking with you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to let you know when I've uploaded new videos. Videos. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and a beautiful sleep and I'll see you in the next video.